here's an interesting challenge for you. Can you spot any difference between these two CPU coolers? Odds are you can't. But still, this is apparently a whole new version of the Be Quiet Shadow Rock Slim. The Be Quiet Shadow Rock Slim 2. If you're less familiar with this CPU cooler from Be Quiet, it is essentially just a slimmer version of the Shadow Rock. And I've covered the latest variant of that, the Shadow Rock 3, on my channel before, so I highly recommend you check out that video on it, it's coming up in the iCards. But are the changes between these two even big enough to warrant a whole new cooler? Because apart from the top being slightly different, there are no other obvious differences between these two coolers. But according to Be Quiet, the new model also has much more efficient heat pipes. So that clearly isn't a massive change given the fact that they didn't even increase the TDP rating for this cooler in this newer model. So what else is different? Well, thankfully, the mounting mechanism. It is way better now and uses the exact same mounting mechanism as the Shadow Rock 3. So once again, I highly recommend you check out that video to see what a mounting mechanism is like. But it is great, simple to use, and it's definitely way better than what you find on the Shadow Rock Slim, which is like, come on, what is all of this stuff? Who on earth thought that this mounting mechanism was good in any way? Definitely one of the worst mounting mechanisms I've ever seen, so I'm definitely glad it got a massive reboot in this new version. However, my main issue with the mounting is the fan mounting mechanism, because it does take quite a bit of strength, and because of it, it's super easy to damage or even bend some of the heatsink fins, which I gotta say is kind of disappointing. So naturally one of the main things that makes a cooler good is, well, how much heat it's able to dissipate. So I rounded up some coolers to see exactly how well this thing performs. It's going to be competing against the original Shadow Rock Slim model, its bigger brother, the Shadow Rock 3, and also a stock AMD Wraithrism cooler for good measure. And the CPU we're testing this on is going to be an FX8350, a nice CPU with a high enough TDP for us to be able to notice a difference. At idle, all three of our Be Quiet coolers perform adequately well, and even when we start throwing some serious stuff at the CPU here, well, it doesn't really change that much. The differences between the Slim and the Slim 2 are almost non-existent, but even between the Slim and the fat variant of the Shadow Rock, I'm honestly surprised to see how well this thing is managing to keep up against a much bigger cooling solution. And with pretty much everything I threw at these coolers, our three Be Quiet cooling solutions have been pretty much neck and neck the whole time. So it's insane to see how well this thing performs, despite it being so much less heatsink here. It still manages to keep up rather well. Oh, and if you want even more cooling out of it, well, it does come with the brackets to mount one more fan on it if you want. However, even though that does sound pretty exciting, it sadly doesn't really deliver that much in terms of performance, so you're definitely not missing out on too much performance here by not upgrading to a second fan on this thing. If you really want a double fan setup, there's definitely way better ones than this one out there, though naturally at a much higher price. And it gets even more exciting when you realise the price, because this thing costs just €45.90 or your regional equivalent, or just a fast food meal cheaper than the Shadow Rock Three. So that makes it a pretty good value cooler as well, right? And so far, well, everything seems to be going this CPU cooler's way. However, all of that got me thinking, who exactly is this thing even for? Because yes, it may do a lot of stuff right, but at the end of the day, you can get yourself the Shadow Rock 3 for just a couple of euros or dollars or whatever more. So what exactly is the point of this guy? Well, with my genius, I've calculated the main reasons why someone may want to pick up this cooler in particular. Number one is it's, of course, compact size. And it's not just a memory clearance thing, even though that could be a major factor for a lot of people out there. But many others simply just don't like having a big and bulky cooling solution in their system. So something like this guy will be much better than something super big that would take up a lot of space, like the Shadow Rock 3. Though as memory heat spreaders get much bigger, especially later this year when DDR5 is set to arrive, slimmer cooling solutions like these may prove very valuable indeed. Reason number two is if you just care about pure performance and don't care too much about looks, RGB and that kind of stuff. There's a very good reason why Be Quiet coolers have become super popular in the anti-RGB PC scene, where people try to create the best looking PCs without any RGB. Coolers like these definitely prioritize function over form, and if those are also your priorities, well, this is definitely a great choice for you. But if you want to keep the great heat dissipation of this particular heatsink 
but you want to add some RGB, well, you can always just swap out a fan for an RGB one. Though, as a reminder, the included fan is super quiet, so you may not want to do that. And when it comes to function, I mean, this thing really does not disappoint. Sure, it may not have as high of a TDP as the Shadow Rock 3, but at the same time, it's still more than enough for many people and will even leave some room for overclocking. Oh, and remember when I said that the fan is super quiet? Well, I've been recording next to it this whole time and clearly you can't even hear it right now. So that brings me to my third reason. If you simply just want that big quiet quietness but don't want to go all the way to a Shadow Rock 3, even the price difference isn't that much. At the end of the day, I'd say it's a pretty solid little cooler. If you'd like to buy this or other Be Quiet coolers, then our Amazon associates links for them are going to be down in the video description below. So I highly recommend you check it out because, well, honestly, it's not a bad deal for sure. Also, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see me make more awesome videos in the future, then I highly recommend checking out my Patreon because even $1 a month guarantees you and others with more entertainment for the future, so it's a win-win for everyone. I'd also love to thank my existing patrons Gavin Burns, Ryan LKB, Meg Sumner, Blake DeRake, Shane Allcroft and Lance V. Thank you guys so so much, videos like these just wouldn't be possible without you. Then there's also our Discord server if you want to talk to me or others at this or whatever else really, plus down there's our social media links as well. I'll be posting tons of sexy photos of this thing now that it's out of NDA on my Instagram and whatnot, so definitely check it out if you want. But anyway, that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.